So John Oliver um, did this pretty funny segment here where he he's going to offer Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas $1 million a year to resign from the court. And of course, if he does it now, Biden would get to pick his replacement. And so that's, that's why he's uh, sort of imploring him to do it. Let's watch and then we'll discuss. Stripping away women's rights to hearing January 6th cases you definitely shouldn't be hearing to potentially helping roll back decades of federal regulations. And you deserve a break, you know, away from the meanness of Washington. So you can be surrounded by the regular folks whose lives you've made demonstrably worse for decades now. And the good news is, I think we can help you there because since your favorite mode of travel might be in need of an upgrade, we are excited to offer you... <laughs> Brand new, top of the line, Prevost Marathon motor coach. So, for those of you who don't know why he is showing an RV and saying we'll give this to you, is because there was a big story. I think it was from ProPublica, which found that was it Harlan Crow, some billionaire goon Republican, gave Clarence Thomas an RV, gifted him an RV, gifted him many other things too. I think private private jet flights and time at uh, it was either like a luxury condo that he owns that's a vacation home or at some sort of resort. Like there were all these different things that Clarence Thomas was getting as gifts. And Clarence Thomas would go to these uh, billionaire club events and basically tell them like, man, th this shit is crazy. I don't get paid anywhere near enough and I might step down from the court if I don't start you know, doing better financially. And then they started showering him with a tremendous amount of cash and gifts. And so that's why he's... He's uh, offering him a new RV, a more expensive RV, to try to get him to step down. This beauty, Clarence, is worth $2.4 million. Mm. And it's got a full bedroom. Yes, that is a king bed. One and a half baths, a fucking fireplace, four TVs, a washer dryer, and, and I quote, a residential-sized fridge. And if you're thinking, what will my friends say if I take this offer? Will they judge me as they sit in their boardrooms and mega yachts and Hitler shrines? Will they still <laughs> treat me to luxury vacations and sing songs about me off their phones? Well, that's the beauty of friendship, Clarence. If they're real friends, they'll love you no matter what your job is. So I guess this might be the perfect way to find out who your real friends actually are. So that's the offer. A million dollars a year, Clarence, and a brand new condo on wheels. And all you have to do in return is sign the contract and get the fuck off the Supreme Court. <laughs> Talk it over with your totally best friend in the whole world. Because the clock starts now. 30 days, Clarence. Let's do this. So uh, you guys are, are not going to believe this, but there are people on the right who are feigning outrage over this and be like, oh my goodness. Somebody go arrest John Oliver. He just bribed somebody on national TV. I'm not kidding. People are actually saying that. People are actually making that argument and trying to use it as a gotcha against the left. Look at them doing corruption, political bribery. Okay. Do you idiots not understand any of the context as to why he's doing this joke? Yet the whole point was he's been so corrupt for so long, he's taken so many bribes for so long, and the evidence is as high as Mount Everest that John, John Oliver was like, well, if there's going to be no accountability and no consequences and no legal challenges for any of these things that we already know, as a matter of fact, happened, that were corruption and bribery and it was illegal and he crossed 78 different lines, well, then why shouldn't I do the same thing? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on national TV and say, okay, well, whatever they're going to offer you, we're going to offer you more because of the tremendous amount of damage that you're doing. And then Clarence Thomas responded. What did he say? Oh, God, I just saw it before I came on air, but my brain is jello. I think he said something like, um, I'll retire when I'm at as bad at my job as the media is at theirs. He said something like that, which is supposed to be like, oh, oh he got him. He got you guys. Clarence, I got terrible news for you. If you have to retire when the media is as bad at their job as you are at your own, or no, or it's vice versa, whatever, you should have retired on day one. You should have retired on day one. He's the biggest hack in, on the court. 
There's no doubt about it. Back when Antonin Scalia was on the court, he would just like copy paste whatever the hell Antonin Scalia said. He's like, what sort of federalist society, small government, bullshit, far right nonsense am I going to sign on to today? Oh, destroy the Clean Water and Clean Air Act? Sure. It's unconstitutional to regulate those things. So let's go ahead and slap that down. Tell uh, gay people, fuck off. You have no right to get married. Sure. Let's do that. Gay people have no right to get married. But don't look at interracial marriage. Don't look at interracial marriage. I'm in an interracial marriage. Don't look at interracial marriage. This is the kind of guy he is, man. Total hack. Complete and utter hack. And I love what John Oliver did here. I find it hilarious that he's baiting the right into the exact reaction, which is the reaction that they should have had when there was actual corruption and bribery happening. But they didn't say anything about it then because they agreed with the outcomes. They agree with the decisions Clarence Thomas would make to appease the billionaires and support the billionaires and the corporations and all the people who shoveled gargantuan amounts of money directly into his pockets. Okay, so they didn't care about it then. Now they're pretending to care about it, but too bad for them. This is just a joke. However, I'll end on this point. If we're really in a system where he committed 48 crimes, it's all documented. It's all, it's all out there in the open. It, it's on the record. It's a matter of fact. And nothing happened. Well, then why the hell shouldn't he be able to accept this? Get off the court. Take a million dollars a year. Take the RV. Functionally, what would the difference be, guys? What would the difference be? How is this, in principle, any different from what he already did with Harlan Crow and the other billionaires and the other corporations he took money from? How is it any different? How is it any... It's not. That's the thing. It's not. It's exactly the same. Just in this case, somebody happens to be bribing him as a joke about to do the right thing, not to do the wrong thing, which is every other time he's been corrupt. It's all always to do the wrong thing. So... Godspeed. Godspeed, John Oliver. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.